We are here at my workplace at Studio Movie Girl and one of our managers is hosting an early employee screening. Obviously, I've talked about that in my last review with Nope, how we have early employee screenings. Well, we are just 30 minutes away from watching Dragon Ball Super Superhero. 12 o'clock midnight. Gotta represent, obviously, got some of the co-workers. Now, is this movie gonna be good? Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Before we get this review started, I just want to say that I am doing a free giveaway that relates to today's movie, so please stay tuned at the end of the review to see how you can potentially win. Well, the master himself, Akira Toriyama, is back once again with the fourth latest installment into his beloved series, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. This film is canon to the franchise and is a sequel to Dragon Ball Super Broly, and taking some time after the events of the recent film, the film is centered around Piccolo and Gohan as they must team up together and save the Earth from the newly reformed Red Ribbon Army and the new threats that come their way. Within the anime community, this movie has been talked about for months and for two reasons only. Number one is the obvious one, no one knew when this movie was going to come out. And number two, no one knew what the movie was going to be about. I mean, it wasn't even featured in the manga, it was a completely original idea and you just had to go to the theater and find out yourself. Well, after coming back home 2am in the morning, I can say this with all pure heart of me, I had a blast with this film. What I like so much about this movie is that they were given screen time to characters that weren't really utilized or haven't had their chance to shine. Gohan and Piccolo in particular, they have great chemistry between each other and they're known to have this master and mentor relationship, but hardcore fans can actually go and debate saying that they possibly even have a father and son-like relationship between one another. That wasn't really something that they acknowledged after DBZ ended, which is something that I'm just so glad that they were able to bring back. And considering the fact that this movie is a sequel, it does feel like it's its own spin-off movie because even though we all know as fans, it's, the movies are always mostly centered around Goku and Vegeta, this is actually focused on characters that don't really get, like I said, they don't get that much screen time, but yet it's more of an expansion upon that universe, which is something I wish that they can actually do more often with this series. Remember when Piccolo and Gohan were nerfed in Super? Well, this film does them justice. They are complete badasses that you do not want to fuck with either of them. And also, as a Dragon Ball fan, what you expect in this film is exactly what you're gonna get. Over the top tier action sequences, amazing voice acting from the English dub, throwbacks to both DB and DBZ, and lots and lots of yelling. And then come to think of it, out of all four of the films that are canon, this is probably my favorite film with the best third act. As for the first act, this movie did start off very weak. I really wasn't a fan of the idea that it was going to be done in 3D animation. There was some expositions here and there at the beginning, and also the animation just seemed wonky at times, especially with some bad camera shots, and it didn't really help with the fact that it did start off with some super villains that we really just don't give two craps about. But everything did start to change within that second act. Eventually the animation does improve to the point where it's no longer distracting, the story is more compelling, and there is so much heavy emotional weight that when you finally get to the climax at the third act, it's just icing on the cake. So for the final score, Dragon Ball Super Superhero gets a 9 out of 10. I really did have a fun time watching this movie, but if you don't believe me as a critic, then just hear from the Dragon Ball fans themselves. We have at least some reactions from here. Frankie, what did you think? It was fantastic, it was great. The animation, the graphics, the storyline, uh, Gohan, Piccolo, 10 out of 10. This is just a fire movie. Like It's it's like showing that there's like gonna be a future past Goku and Vegeta. Not that they're gonna be traded in in the, in the short time, but dude, it's showing that there's like a bright future ahead of them. Oh yeah. Animation, top tier, colors, everything, man, it was just amazing. Yeah, definitely better than I expected. I thought the 3D animation was gonna be a little meh at first, but then like once the movie started going, especially in the fight scenes, Chef's Kiss, she was great. She was, she was there was one part that was kind of stupid, but it was still pretty sick. I think we all know what part we're talking about. But it was really dope, especially when it came towards the end. And... NANI? Okay, I know this is not the right anime for the situation, but I, I know you're still representing. What do you think about the movie? I honestly think it's a really good ass movie. Some people say the CGI and what makes with the 2D is gonna make it difficult for some viewers, but don't don't knock it until you try it. It's honestly really good. I just want to say thank you guys so much for giving me your thoughts on the movie. You guys are all amazing. Now it's finally the end of the video, and I am a man of my word. It's finally time to reveal the giveaway for this movie. 
I just want to say this real quick. For anybody who loves this franchise with all their heart, I think a fan like this really deserves a prize like this. So, without any further ado, one lucky winner is going to go away with... Hold on. Drum roll, please. Dragon Balls themselves. That is correct. These are seven medium glass replicas of the Dragon Balls themselves. Each ball is, is transparent and they do contain stars one through seven, just like the anime itself. And not just that, this box is just so creative. It's literally got Shenron on there and it has all the Dragon Balls. It's even got a cool design in the back. While the Dragon Balls themselves are a perfect gift for any fan, the only thing it cannot do is summon the legendary Dragon Shenron. Trust me. I've tried. Just to let you know, there is no sponsorship, there is no one that gave me these Dragon Balls for me to give away on my channel. I personally bought these Dragon Balls online, and I'm gonna give it to one of you lucky fans. Now, the only way to actually qualify for this giveaway, there are three steps you gotta do. Number one, you have to be a subscriber to this channel. Number two, you have to comment down below on this video who is your favorite underrated character in the Dragon Ball franchise. And number three, alongside with your comment, you have to use the word hashtag giveaway. If you were to actually comment down below in this video, for example, you would have to do Master Roshi and then the word hashtag giveaway. No spacing, no just the word giveaway. You have to have hashtag. That's how it has to be qualified. And here are the official 10 rules. It is free for anyone to enter. The contest starts August 20th, 2022 at 10 a.m. Central Time, and it will close on August the 27th, 2022 at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. The winner will be chosen from a comment generator immediately after the contest closes, and the winner will be announced on Sunday, August the 28th, 2022, in my upcoming movie review, Prey. If you are the winner, you must personally email me claiming that you are the winner. The link to my email will be in the description down below. And I will email you a secret word code for you to edit into your giveaway comment just for validation. Any information collected will be used for the sole purpose of delivering the price to the winner. But if the winner does not respond within 7 days after August 28, they will be disqualified and a new winner will be announced. Also, this contest is not sponsored by YouTube and I am solely responsible for this contest and delivering the prize to the winner. And also, just to make sure that you don't have to repeat this video over and over again, everything that I just said right now will also be in the description down below. So what am I going to be doing for the next 7 days? Well, that's easy. I'm going to be keeping track of all the subscribers and the comments, that way to make sure there is no cheating. This is all going to be a fair game. and. I'm probably going to play a little bit of Fortnite as Goku. <laughs> Did you do it? Yes! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and to everybody who is participating in the contest, good luck.